You're listening to the Speak and Code podcast. This is episode four, and we are, are doing part three right now. Uh, I'm sitting here with TBD, Teddy Bear Dynamite, and, uh, and uh, Chente the homie. Yo, yo, yo. So we're going to bring you guys back to what we were just talking about, and we will continue from there. Um, kind of we're talking about a little bit of uh, just different um, portals and how we think that um, – Maybe certain certain beings uh, are stuck in their area, and we talked about uh, paranormal activity, and we got friendly with Casper. Yeah, <laughs> Casper the friendly uh, ghost, but um, yeah, <laughs> flaxseed. <laughs> All right, um, uh, yeah. So uh, we'll we'll go from there, and uh. I guess we'll we'll just do this as like a continuation, as a part three. Um, was there anything that you felt like you were missing, Chente, on uh, what we were just talking about? Uh, no, I think I ended with um, people on the spectrum being able to see. Oh, things. like special abilities. Yeah, I think I'm probably, yeah. I was going to have to edit that one out. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, oh, you're not no, no, no. I mean, like at the end of that podcast, I think I'm going to have to like. And a lot of it, just because it was so close to the end. Oh, and then added okay, to okay. it. Yeah, that way we'll just we'll just start that from that point on. So like people from that are on some sort of spectrum. Um, I think yeah, I think they can't see um, other things that we normally can't. Okay. You know, maybe maybe they can't see spirits. Maybe they can't see interdimensional beings or Bigfoot. You know. Yep. And it just doesn't bother them. Oh. Uh. I wonder because you know, brain waves and different things. So, their brain waves aren't on the same level as ours. So maybe that's why they can see Bigfoot. They can see mm-hmm. ghosts because, like, we're technically fully connected, and maybe that stops us from seeing supernatural beings and entities. Mm-hmm. But theirs having whatever disconnect they have to give them whatever disability that puts them on a the spectrum. Maybe that's why they are more subjective and sensitive to seeing things that we can't see. Okay. Because that could also explain, we were talking about people with mental disabilities and hearing voices. You know, Mm -hmm. you see a person and they sit there and do you think they're just crazy because they're talking to themselves? That could be them talking to a spirit that, as you were saying, is stuck in that place. Because whatever mentally is wrong with them allows them to see that spirit and conversate Mm -hmm. and interact. Where we just see the wind blowing. Or they could be having con- communication with other spirits that are inside of them. I didn't think about that. Yeah. <laughs> Is that what you We're thinking like? they're talking to themselves and yeah, we think they're, they're talking talk- to the other spirits that are inhabiting or, their bodies. Or the other uh, personalities. Okay. Like, yeah. um, Have you ever seen uh, Doom Patrol? Yes. On HBO Max? Yes. There's like the one girl. She was like from Orange is the New Black. She's like a little small, like Mexican chick or something. Um, Future wife. Yeah, gorgeous. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I think she had a bunch of she, and, and it's weird. I think in that show she ended up like having trauma of some sort, which caused her to have a bunch of different personalities. Yes. And like I think her name was Jane. I think that's her that name. That was the main girl's name, and we kind of touched on that, like the different entities. Yeah. Fighting for control and taking over and maybe ones are there to protect the main one because of whatever traumatic experience. Yeah. And that that that's similar to what we were discussing. Mm-hmm. What do you think about that, Chente? Oh yeah, dude. Um I think it falls in all of that that we were talking about. Okay. Yeah. And then like uh you were talking about like different I I, I walked away <laughs> right when you guys started talking portals. I'm like, no, <laughs> like I'm about to, I was about to go down a whole another rabbit hole portal, and uh, got had to walk away for a minute. But um, there was other ones too with like, you know how like CERN, you ever heard? You oh, know what CERN is? We're gonna discern some things. I don't know, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> CERN is in like Switzerland or Sweden, and it's like a huge portal that they're trying to like. Um, Open up different dimensions, kind of like Stranger Things it up. <laughs> okay, <laughs> dude, it's, it's kind of like um, Spider Man into the Spider Verse. Yes, Ooh. yeah, 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 exactly. 
feel like I'm uh, on Shorzy. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, uh, they were uh, trying to open up other portals, but they, I guess they're, what I heard on um, Tony Merkel's The Confessionals podcast, he was explaining about how he thinks that CERN is like scientists that are trying to do good for the world, like, uh, I guess, for the world. So they're trying to, like, open up portals and do different, sci- like, uh, studies to see if, like, maybe they can get a specific creature, match its DNA, and see if it will help, like, um, benefit, like, the, the health of somebody. Like, that's their, like, I- I'm doing a good deed. Yeah. Like, I'm looking out for human humankind and all this stuff where it could be a complete lie. So they say the road to hell is paved with good intentions, though. Oof. So. That was deep. That was <laughs> deep. <laughs> I'm just throwing that out there. Like, sometimes just because you're trying to do good doesn't mean you're not doing bad. Yes. Or you try to cover it up by saying, like, well, I'm trying to help other people. You're like, yeah, eh, but the thing that you created isn't really helping people. Yeah. Uh, flax seeds. Um, <laughs> but... <laughs> it gets stuck in your teeth. But um, the other thing I was going to ask, too, was so there so you have CERN. It's a hydro collider. What did you call it? Power collider? Um, Something collider. particle accelerate. No, not particle accelerate. Kaleidoscope. Super collider. Oh, super collider. OK, so uh, they, Kaleidoscope. they... <laughs> <laughs> I just got that. Oh, man. I had a delay just so I well, could get a laugh. Wait, but. Uh, Technically, because if they're opening portals to different dimension, that's like looking through a kaleidoscope because there's different perspective, different point of views. Yeah. So with with that, um, I guess it's like it's huge. I don't know exactly the size. I would say like it's almost bigger than a house, like height wise, like at least 20, 30 feet tall or something or around, I guess. No, it's dark. Yeah. And they said that it gets this, it, it could get hotter than like, I think hotter than three times as hot as the sun or something so that one is in sweden and then there's one that they have in the united states that's called oak ridge okay it's like a military base type um science facility and it kind of reminds me of like stranger things okay you know how they had the one in russia but then they also had one in uh in the United States or we whatever. Can't let Russia beat us in anything. So I know. So we got to bring all We got to do better. Yeah. You bring in four demons, we're bringing in a hundred. And Satan himself, you're like, oh, oh. my gosh. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, that that's one of the things that I was thinking of too with a portal. It could be bringing in these entities. And if it's in the United States, the United States, in the Oak Ridge one, I guess, supposedly in their area when they, they created this, they were like, yeah, they were like, well, what's your guys' plans with this? Like, what what is it? And they go, well, we want to open up different dimensions and see what's out there. And, like, the American people are like, what? Like, no, 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 no. Like, I, you don't do that shit here. Yeah, I don't think that's a good idea. And then, and then they're like, yeah, you're right. We, 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 we probably won't do that. You know, like, that's... That's not a. It's probably not a good idea. And they also won't raise taxes. Yeah, and they're like uh, crossing their fingers and they're putting things in air quotes and they're winking at you and they're like, oh, okay, yeah, I we won't work on it. I have sexual <laughs> relations with that woman. It all depends on what the definition of is is. That's how he won that entire case. What? <laughs> yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. I need to pay more attention to that. Yeah, and then he's friends with Epstein. But it, we'll, we'll go <laughs> down that rabbit hole later. Um, but with the one in the United States, it's called uh, Oak Ridge, and it's in Tennessee. And a lot of people were, like, saying that there's different – there's weird things that people see, uh, either paranormal-wise. And that's where I wasn't sure where the paranormal line is crossed. Is it ghosts and demons, or could it be orbs? Could it be aliens? Could it be uh, Bigfoot? Could it be Dogman? Could it be this Wendigo thing? Can I say that out loud? Um I mean, Chupacabra, who knows? But they do that in the United States, and I'm almost wondering, like, that's the portal that's bringing this nonsense in? Or, like, you got the Mandela effect. Maybe Sweden and stuff were like, yeah, we kind of messed this up, uh, and we started messing, like, with the the timelines. So then they're like, yeah, we're not going to do this anymore. And then the United States is like, eh, hold my beer. Yeah. 
We always say hold my beer. Yeah, well, you build a bomb, we build a bigger bomb. You mm-hmm. go to the moon, we'll get there first. Yeah, <laughs> but we'll destroy all of our information on and our, our our blueprints on how to get there. What if that's where they got some of the stuff they used to build the super thingamabobber to open the? That's why they're not going back. Well, so ah oh man, I feel like we're going all over the place. I um, I could I feel like I could tie certain things in. Go ahead. So there's a there's a. It's called the Black Knight. It's supposedly a satellite that orbits our yeah. It's it's Teddy. He's, <laughs> he's our Black Knight in shining shining mauve armor. Wow. No. <laughs> no, so it's this uh, black satellite, or it's this huge piece of metal. They said it was junk, like it was just floating in space. They don't know where it came from. I guess the Hubble telescope or whatever, or one of these satellites took a HD picture of it, and they go, "This is." This is just out here. It's just floating. We don't know where it came from. And you're like, what in the world? And uh, this one guy I was watching a video on earlier. He was saying that this entity or this this satellite that's orbiting our Earth could be getting all this information from us, to, like of all of our information, to send it back to say like, hey, we need to stop them from doing something or we need to not intervene at all because they're screwing it all up Hmm. so i'm almost wondering if like we could touch base on like sumerians and like the anunnaki and eventually go down that rabbit hole who are the anunnaki the anunnaki i'm not 100 percent sure about the anunnaki i think chente knows more about the anunnaki than i do i don't know we might have to find someone else maybe someone on the discord knows dang all right we can do that yeah yeah we could easily do that we could study up too yeah but uh it, and I don't even know how to explain the Anunnaki. At first, I heard the Anunnaki were like the fallen angels. Then I also heard that they could be from outer space, you know, or like if you ever heard of like uh, the Book of Enoch and stuff where they mention like aliens and stuff in there, mm-hmm. they called them the Anunnaki. But it's all speculation. I'm not sure at all. I, I could be spewing poop out of my mouth. Um, but anyway, this I thought that would be kind of cool, like to to touch on that, or if space is if it's real, or is it if fake? space is real? It... Yeah, or is it fake and gay? It might be happy. <laughs> <laughs> it might be happy. I never thought about if space was real or not. I just, huh, huh. <laughs> like, so where were they going on these rocket ships? All these billionaires just. They never went anywhere. Oh. It was all a ploy. It's all money laundering. They just flew way up high. Look at this. Yeah, they flew as high as they could up to the up to atmosphere. Once they get to the barrier, the firmament. Yeah, the firmament. It's just ocean. Once you go through there, it's just more water. Are we a giant biodome? Not quite a biodome, but like well, a, Polly Shore. a snow globe. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a snow globe. <laughs> That's why we get so much snow. But that means people can shake things up, and I'm tired of things getting shook up. Mm-hmm. My head hurts. Yes. <laughs> Look at her. She looks fed up. <laughs> She's like, I'm fed, I'm fed up. I'm fed up. Sorry. <laughs> She's so zoned out. <laughs> She's tired. <laughs> My dog's just staring at Teddy like, like, hey. Uh. I'm not as delicious as I look. <laughs> for you ladies out there, that's She's just like, for the dog. When you look at me, I'm as delicious as you think. Yeah, my dog's not allowed to have chocolate. You guys could have whatever you want. God, you could have you. whatever you like. <laughs> and this is how you shoot your shot. You just throw it, and whoever catches it takes it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> Depends on what shot you're shooting. That is very good. <laughs> Are we talking about, what was it, something load in the first episode? Yeah. Oh, damn. What was it? Part? Uh, <laughs> was, it, um, was it just one giant load? I don't know. Yeah, one load. <laughs> it was like something like that. I was like, it's one, we'll have to. One, uh, um. Like there are different entities and or demons, okay. like succubus and incubus that like prey on our nature. I we were talking about like mm. with alcohol and drinking. I was fighting my demons, my spirits. Yes, and you know how some people have like addictions to sex and. Could that be an entity itself? Again, mm-hmm. not saying anybody that's addicted to whatever in the sexual way is affected by a sex demon, but mm-hmm. a, 
But different compulsions. Different compulsions. I mean, it could even be like a, like a compulsive liar. Yes. Like they get that, like, oh, I feel like I have to be a part of this to and be so able to like. They make up and tell stories. Mm-hmm. And could that be just a malfunction in their brain that makes them do that? Or could it be an entity that specifically goes after people that are weaker, that are weaker. And that's the effect it has on them, makes them lie, makes them sexually active, makes them more violent and aggressive, makes them drink, Mm. makes them smoke, makes them. And again, not saying all people are affected by these entities because some of us just, that's just our normal nature. But are there some people that could be affected if these entities that we see in mythologies and we theorize are out there? Mm -hmm. Could that be what's causing that? Yeah. One of the seven deadly sins, right? Lust. Yeah. Oh, right there. I, you know, that's... I feel like I was talking to Chente about this the other day. It might have been you. Um, when we were talking about different mythologies and stuff, uh-huh. like Greek mythology, how they would pray to these specific gods. Yes. These, these gods of war, these gods of love, these gods of... Fertility of and any, yeah, anything and everything. Crop and knowledge. <laughs> what if these were the fallen angels, and they told people, "Hey, I'm a god, I'm a deity," and then they showed them their abilities that they could do, and then people worship those. That makes sense. Which leads to ideologies and, yeah. and different things like that. Because Satan, he wanted to show that he was on the same level as God. Mm-hmm. What better way than to come down here with his? What we're supposed to be his greatest creation. Mm-hmm. What better way than to set myself up as a god? Oh, I'm Zeus the Almighty. Mm-hmm. Worship me and take the attention away from where it's supposed to be. Mm-hmm. And they might not have had the power of God, but they could do things to make people like, like for example, like a uh, Cupid. When you shoot the arrow, you make somebody in love with somebody else. Yeah. But instead, what if it was like lust? And you were able to lust over somebody or tell somebody, oh, they really like you, you know, and, and vice versa. So then instead of really loving that person, you lust after them and you think that you fell in love. Yeah. And we're so simple minded, we can confuse one for the other. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. That's crazy. So that was one of my thoughts. I was just like, that's crazy that you made that connection too. (laughs) I, and that's, I think, man, it's so weird because there's so many different conspiracies, uh, in different, different ideas and stuff. I think it would be such a cool way to tie. It doesn't have to tie every single thing together, uh-huh. but tie certain things together that like compare. Like you compare the portals, you compare like different like uh, demons and possessions and paranormal type stuff. But then like Bigfoot being a part of the fallen angels, yes, or or Bigfoot being a part of the uh, the Nephilim, you know, or, or different things well, like when that. When you had stepped away for that quick sec, me and Chente had touched on that, like. Different mythologies with the Aztecs, the Norse, the Greek, um, and and the African mythologies and the Indian mythologies, they all have like similar deities with the same different names, but the same abilities, the same characteristics. Yes. And wasn't there one that came out of water that was like trying to start it all? Uh, maybe. I think we watched it on, uh, Ancient Apocalypse with Graham okay. Hancock. Okay. I'll get you on that show. Okay. Sorry, but I didn't mean to interrupt. I'm sorry. Well, but that's what I'm saying. Like, they all have, like, no matter whether, you know, Ares, God of War, or Mars, God of War, or Zeus, or Odin. Like, they, they're all, like, if you look at their, the way they interact, they're mm. all the same. And to tie religion into it, remember Tower of Babel. Yes. People wanted to build themselves up. To reach heaven mm-hmm. because they thought they were good as God. And then he split the languages. Yep. And so we all started one language, same knowledge. Mm-hmm. Now we split languages. We have different cultures, ideas. And now the stories have just changed with the languages and the cultures. And we're all talking about the same thing. So when people say Allah or God or Muhammad, we're talking about the same one being But because we have different languages and we've separated from each other Mm -hmm. and I think one of the reasons we have so many religions is instead of following the way we're supposed to, we just pick and chose what we wanted. Yes. And so each one pick and chose the parts they wanted and that's why everybody's stories are similar. Mm -hmm. 
And I know like some every pe- single one of it has had like a flood. Yes. Or a mudslide or some sort of mud flood. Cladicl- cataclysm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the mud flood. No, yeah, dude. I I think um going back to the what you said about the fallen angels like tricking people into believing they're gods and all that. That could be I guess if you connect it to the seven deadly sins as well, because they had, you know, Ares, God of War, and all that could be wrath yeah. or anger. Oh. You know, and then they had they have gluttony. You know, they had like a a god of beast and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, lust. Everyone knows the Greeks were big on that. Um, oh. Aphrodite, right? Mm-hmm. Whatever her name was. That was it. Pride could be Hercules or Zeus. Very, I, I can see that. Who? Hercules uh-huh. or Zeus? Was what was the other? Pride. Ones? Oh, pride. Okay, okay. Pride. Yeah. I, I and then right there's there. also like there's greed, lust, envy, gluttony, wrath, mm-hmm. sloth, pride. And yeah. I also think, um, you, you could tie with the Roman mythology, and Greek mythology are very similar. Yes. Yes. But Roman mythology now is still practiced, in my opinion. And this is very risky for me to say because I'm a Catholic, but I'm not like a practicing Catholic. Mm-hmm. But Catholicism is very much the same as mythology. But with, with, the, with the sainthoods and everything, yes. you know, the Greeks and Romans had their pantheon of gods. And you look at Vatican City and with all the statues of the saints and everything. Because you have it's like the painter saint of like lost children and the saints yeah, of, uh, for the prostitutes saints. and saints for. Next you time you go to the store, I didn't know that. Or like a, like a small store, and you go down like the, go to like a Mexican store, and they have all the candles with the saints on them. Yeah. People pray to different saints for different reasons. Oh, okay. Just like just like people did back in the day with or, mythology. Or they'll get like certain ones for like protection. Yes. Yeah. Like Saint Michael, maybe. So I think cops usually you know, use them or firefighters. I think. And then, I think Rome, the Rome, Romans switched to Christianity because it was losing people. To Christianity, yeah. Oh. So they're like, yeah, you know what? Well, we're Christian now. Because they used and to say that's like, why all the holidays are pagan holidays. It was flipped it, and you know now Christmas is Jesus's birthday. Yes, I, I heard a pastor actually saying that. Like it was like the Seven Hundred Club or one of those like late late night one or like early morning or whatever. If you right, stay in commercial time, <laughs> ones? yeah. After BET Uncut, he came on. <laughs> like, yeah, oh, the girls on wild Sunday, commercial. yeah. I'm like, oh crap. Uh, trying to see through the blurs but uh <laughs> but with i think with um the the romans and stuff they were like they would always be like thank the gods or something but theirs were like um weren't there planets more planets yes yeah. Saturn, mars, not that. mars but I, that's mm. where i wasn't understanding like how they how they worship planets Again, to tie religion into a false idol. So, you know, you give, you put the planets in the place of, and again, if we're saying the Nephilim were down here trying to make themselves as gods. Yeah. So we started off as these gods, but it fizzled off. So now we're going to move to the next thing. Or there might have just been multiple and multiple regions. Yeah. So I mean, yeah. also, it could, you know, it's just, it's just another way how our civilization just goes full circle. You know, we just pick that from the Roman mythology and like we're going to name our planets after this is that the days of the week are named after like vikings or something right uh thor thor's Thor's day Day. thursday oh really that's one of the i'm not sure if like how accurate that is but i think that's one of the things people think how they came up with that one thor's day thursday i feel like mr brown from medea what the what i have like no idea what this is all about this is like I remember yeah, this is like reading up. or hearing different places, but Jeez. that's some of the. I must have skipped that day. Yeah. <laughs> Holy crap! No, it was just like a shout out, you know. Yeah. To Greek or Roman mythology. Okay. Like we're gonna name the planets after all this stuff. Just like every fucking city has a Martin Luther King Boulevard. Yeah. Because remember we were just yeah. talking about that. Yeah, but it's always in the hood. Martin Luther King Boulevard, the states, uh, number streets. Most number streets. Why oh, you gotta come from my area like that? <laughs> no, no <laughs> purpose. I, Long Beach is the same way. But think about, think about it. my area; it's all states well, and presidents. How about this? Higher number streets, 
are usually the bad ones. When you okay. get to 104th, nobody goes to 104th Street. If you go to 4th Street, you might be okay. But 104th Street, man, you dead, See, dead. But in Ohio, it's different. You're like, 4th Street, that's where all the stuff went down. Well, uh, yo- younger years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the other thing, too, like um, like Cleveland, like their 4th Street is like a more deeper city. Cleveland is part of the Mandela effect. Things that happen in Cleveland are different from what happens in the rest of Ohio. Yeah. <laughs> well, they have, like, all the Freemasonry stuff up there, too. See? See? Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's why we can have such great celebrities and sports in Cleveland, but then it's also like... Wait, wait, wait. You said what? Huh? Great celebrities and what? Great and sports? Not Catholics. all the sports is oh, great okay. there, but the Indians, <laughs> the Cavs at one point... Uh, the, the Browns haven't sold their soul yet. That's why they're still doing terrible. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> but think about it. We have all this great stuff from Cleveland, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and all that. But then, isn't it like in the top five for murder yeah. capitals in the country? Yeah. No. You also have Dave's Cosmic Subs. Oh, that place was trash. <laughs> that place was trash. I was so bummed the last time I got it, man. One of my buddies in the office was like, "Hey, let's uh, let's go get this." I'm like, uh, I gotta get back to work, and they're like, "Oh, come on!" <laughs> they're like, "Oh, come on!" I was like, "I want to get it." And I got us, I got one there. I'm like, "This is the worst." It's like you ever get a sub that's like red onions, and that's all you taste is the red onion. I don't get onions. I usually don't, but yeah. Um, to tie more paranormal back in here, because I feel like we kind of went off on a religion. Yeah, that one, that one <laughs> but is it religion technically paranormal because it's spirits and entities that we know nothing about? But yes. what is what is normal to us, and then what does para even mean? I do not know. Paradox. Paramore. Yeah. Paramore. Hmm, the band. The band. Yeah. I liked her. <laughs> Haley something. She had a good voice, and I used to use that song on Guitar Hero. Nice. I mastered it. No. Well, because a lot of things, because, you know, but when it comes to Christianity, people are always trying to downplay it. And how he was talking about, like, pagan holidays, mm-hmm. they say a lot of Christian practices are technically witchcraft. And if you think about it, we're n- no false idols. But yes. yet, in, in how he was saying, in Catholic and even in Christianity, we have saints and people, instead of praying to God, they pray to the saints, yeah. which would be a false idol, which would be a form of witchcraft. Or or even praying to Mary. Yeah, the Virgin Mary. Mm-hmm. And some of the religious rituals we do, people go, well, that's almost the same as doing like a, a satanic ritual, like a witchcraft ritual. Mm-hmm. And like, so... Well, well, what's, what's, I mean, the main difference is one might be for negative stuff, right, the witchcraft. Yes, and mm-hmm. then praying is just for positive stuff. But well, all you're doing is just channel channeling energy mm-hmm. with thought. Yeah, or or a different entity that you don't want to. Well, yeah. that you might want to channel, but you it's Shouldn't not good channel. for everybody. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's what people say. gather in church. They gather in church and they pray, and then you feel good. You're like, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. you know, mm-hmm. you feel good after church. You go to IHOP and you get your pancakes and you're good. We don't have an IHOP. Oh, well, oh, that's because you guys live across the country. I don't we live know. south of the wall. Hey, yeah. You're <laughs> like, in Mexico? I'm like, no. You know, you know <laughs> nothing, John Snow. But yeah. Winter is coming. <laughs> the same thing, though. You get a bunch of people together, and you got to channeling energy, focusing energy on positive positive things happen. Yeah. Witchcraft and all that shit, you're doing the same thing just for a different outcome. And you might be now, oh, question. setting chickens open. Oh, do you think there are good witches and bad witches, or do you think all witches fall under the same category? I mean, I don't know. Wizard of Oz had two, I guess. <laughs> yeah. I like that. Because I have friends that consider themselves practicing Wiccan, but they're not... Oh, my gosh. They don't, yeah. they don't like, do naked dances and sacrifice chickens and that, but, like, yeah. they burn sage and, uh, like, have, like, specific candles that they burn for like luck and prosperity and they have prayers that they say that you know for for healing and different things like that like nothing they do is like ever negative like they're not putting curses on people and that so i was wondering like do you You think 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 that again that we think (laughs) (laughs) well what do when you see 
Catholics do something with, like incense. They walk down the aisle with this little ball oh, thing on yeah, a chain. Oh, yeah, they like swing yeah. the little thing. Yeah. Yeah, so what's the difference to that and burn sage? Catholics burn sage. It, it, that's, uh, Catholics do exorcism. Yeah, that's, that's so true. They gotta burn sage. And it goes right. back to that, like, remember how I was saying, like, people taking parts of the religion they want and making their own religion? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I, yeah, no, I, I totally get that. And it's like, I think with, man, I feel like I gotta get somebody on this that's like was catholic but isn't anymore that can touch on that more yeah um because there's a lot of things like back, like for example back in the the 70s i think that the church the catholic church in general or specifically i mean there's multiples of course like all over the world not just catholic other well, religions I am, that are, i am Roman Catholic, so <laughs> that's that's as that's as bad as it gets, bro. <laughs> yeah. Well, like uh, during the seventies, somebody told me this uh, just the other day. I was talking to him, and uh, he said that during the seventies, when he, he he became a Christian, and he was like, "But we were hearing tons of stories about how there would be nuns in in Italy at the at the Vatican." that would um abort all these babies and it was because they were sleeping with these priests but instead of saying like hey i sinned i messed up you know i'm sorry and like fessed up to it or owned it they ended up just aborting all of these babies on and then they buried them underneath the uh the vatican wow and and i, I don't know if that's tr true by any means this is just a rumor that was going around back in the 70s okay <clears throat> but that was like one of the things too like um th i feel like there's certain it, it's not even religion certain people specifically mm -hmm. um that will hold on to something so so deep and hold on to it because they feel like the consequences of it are so much worse it, they almost feel like telling the truth of something is so much worse than the actual deed where yes. if they would have just told on themselves and told the deed i feel like they would have been like hey it's it's okay you're gonna get backlash for it whatever um for a little bit yeah but i feel like if some if a nun was like hey i slept with a priest out of wedlock and i want to have this baby and i had this baby and i'm no longer a nun anymore and i had to step away from this and people knew they might have called her a whore or something like that but she has this child that she can raise. Or instead... And what are they going to call a child? Like a devil's spot? Oh, no. Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah, there's would. people that are cruel. But I'm saying, like, it would almost have been better than a bunch of them doing this. And then yes. saying, like, hey, we, we have a bunch of fetuses that are underneath the, underneath the Vatican right now. <laughs> I mean, not saying that that's even true. I'm just saying, like, it's interesting. To move it back around to what we began talking about with the paranormal. Yeah, circle back like uh, Jen Psaki. <laughs> <laughs> well, remember when you were saying like some spirits here have done something and this is their punishment to be like trapped in the loop or in that space mm -hmm. and because of those acts and because instead of confessing the truth, if these nuns did that, like that could be another thing. Like their spirit or entity is stuck because they committed horrible crimes or sins, however you want to, whatever you want to call it. And it kind of like ties it back to like our actions or the person's actions, making them become a spirit and those spirits tying and influencing other people's actions. Mm -hmm. Like there's so much bad that surrounds the church, mm -hmm. whether it's, Catholic, whether it's Christian, whether it's whatever, and what if because there were so many people that were supposed to be holy and doing these things, that their spirits attached to people in that area around that. That are still doing those things. That are still doing those things. Mm. That's deep. <laughs> Dark. No, <I'm> just... <laughs> no that's, that's interesting for sure. And I mean, like I, like, I know there's good people in everything. I'll just go there. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever you choose to do, whatever you want to do, it's there's going to be good people that make bad decisions, and there's going to be bad people that make good decisions. 
And it's like you just have to feel it out yourself and pick which direction you want to follow, I guess. But hmm. get behind that. <laughs> Thought for the day. You'll meet more angels on the winding path than on a straight one. Hey, thanks for listening to Speaking Code Part 3. We'll see you next time, man. Tell me where you be. Uh, This is Teddy Dynamite telling you all to have a good night. Oh my gosh, you guys are rhyming. This is Code. Speak it in code. Don't lick no toads. (laughs) Bye.